springtime, what a wonderful time, huh? This is a strawberry lemonade. Maybe I should spike it <clears throat> to see how it tastes like. But anyway, um, all right. Today is going to be a quick three fragrance that I really, really enjoy for the springtime. Now, this is going to be more for the um, warmer, warmer days. Where you're going to get the sun, maybe around 75 to 80, 85 degree. This would be awesome, awesome. Now, um, the first one is going to be from the house of Mugler Cologne. This flyaway. In case you um, see this bottle, seems familiar. They had one that was um, Mugler Cologne, which is super, super famous and super hyped. And then what they did was basically they um, they uh, stopped that one and came out with a whole collection. All in this bottle, you can have like come away, take me out, run free, love you all, and all bunch of all those names. But I just got the um, this one, Fly Away. It's gonna be dominated by the grapefruit. Let me go ahead and spray and walk you through it. Now, when I say walk you through it, actually, yeah, it's gonna be a super quick uh, little little walk because this one just smells like grapefruit straight grapefruit just like the color nothing more nothing less maybe I'm getting just a bit of touch of cannabis to give it a little bit of green type of um, uh, uh, scent in there but yeah the grapefruit is dominating it's zesty it's fresh it's realistic it's awesome it's uplifting yeah all those great um, feelings that you get during the um, nice um, summer um, not summer but spring day yeah, this is really, really good. Very fresh. You know, some might say it's intoxicating. All right. Um, the perfumer is by Sonia Constant. She's uh, done a lot of great work. One of those um, good perfumer that you can um, trust what she does. And um, but this one is actually you know pretty linear. Doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, does not mean that at all. Especially for this type of uh, warmer weather type of fragrance you tend to want to look for something that's simple that's straightforward not too complex and for sure on the fresher side usually the citrus will work really really well during this type of um, weather when you just want to relax and smell the um either floral or nice citrus gonna work really well now the closest thing i can come up with that's um reminding me of this one is um Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever. That one is also a citrus, um, uh, grapefruit dominant. That's just, you know, punching through, no holds bar. So with that said, this is such a great spring fragrance, for sure, for summer as well. So this is a uh, two season fragrance, uh, not so much for the winter, okay? So if you pick it up for a good price, you know, go for it because the, the, the longevity is pretty decent for freshie. Okay, it's middle of the roll, six to six, four to six hours, no problem. Okay, very easy going. If you like citrus, if you like grapefruit, this is a no-brainer. Okay, that's the first one. Second one is from a house of uh, Aqua de Parma. This is Coronia Futura. Now, the other ones are pretty hyped. Um, everybody's uh, talking about Essenza, it's talking about Intenza, and a lot of those Zas, but this is Futura. I have the other, I have a lot in this collection, but this is one of my very, very, very favorite, even though it's not hyped. Now, this is um, very special to me because not only is, does it say that 99% of the ingredients are natural, okay, while well, the train is coming through. Give me a second. Oh no, this is a slow train, so um, let me pause it. All right, this is one of those long train that's gonna take at least maybe three to five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and fight through this, okay? I hope you can hear me okay. But this one is very special to me. Not only is it, like I said, 99% is natural ingredients, but this is one of the um, one of those that smells very classy. The whole line smells pretty classy, okay? But this one in particular, it, it's, it's dominated by the vetiver and the lemon and bergamot and lavender. Okay, you could get a mixture of those. And it does absolutely have the Italian coast, those classical type of um, Italian fragrance, but it's also a modern touch, okay? So don't think this is outdated. 
is very very masculine for sure and the longevity is terrible okay you're talking about maybe two hours or three okay because it's pretty typical of a natural fragrance meaning with a lot of natural ingredients or oil that is not gonna last long okay that's you know nature of the beast right where uh, if you have a lot of synthetic you tend to be, be able to last longer and that's part of the um, problem but like I said every fragrance has its place and this place is if you want to enjoy two or three hours of great 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 natural vibe of the Italian coast very classy elegant you can wear this for uh, a dinner or lunch you know lunch or uh, brunch when you hang out with people for sure this is very classy but it also works well in a casual setting you know imagine going on vacation you're in your shorts in your white t-shirt perfect if you're wearing uh, dressed up perfect hang out with friends perfect having lunch and dinner perfect on vacation perfect in school perfect in the office uh, I don't know because <laughs> it feels too vacation -y. it just feels very very awesome natural what I use this for is um, when I wake up in the morning and I want to be able to be uplifted I'll put this on and so it, it, this herbal is green it's um you know I haven't talked about the notes yet right but basically you're gonna get you know lemon bergamot grapefruit pink pepper lavender sage and vetiver but what I'm getting most is a vetiver with a lemon and bergamot okay that's what's coming through yeah and it's, it's such a um, for some reason I, I have a, a love for the um, Italian style fragrance um, sometimes a little bit closer to the barber shop and then somehow it just makes me feel like it's very um, exotic it's a um, vacationing type of vibe okay like I say Italian coast and this one absolutely does that people will blame it and kill it for its longevity lack thereof but that's fine if you uh, can put that aside and enjoy the fragrance for what it is you know two or three hours of very very high class very high ingredients very very beautiful type of scents vacationing uh, perfect for the um, warmer type of weather uh, even for the regular springtime weather perfect okay go for it now the last one is gonna be from this house not many people are talking about this is a small house a niche house um, from Rogue Perfumery now it's quite famous for being um, uh, not caring about the IFRA regulations so you will use whatever ingredients they want especially the greenery the um, oak moss and so forth so this one is um, it is one of those um, classical type of scents but but before you click anything before you stop it when I just say classic what I mean is it does have those classical type of ingredients in there but it does not smell outdated it's not oak moss strong is not gonna dominate by the the 70s or 80s no 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 this is a uh, nice all year round uh, well I shouldn't say that but all time all era whatever age whatever era you're in if you enjoy green if you enjoy nature you grab this just just grab it this is one of those fragrances I said forget about any review if you could afford the price is about this one is 50 mil uh, less than a hundred dollars maybe 90 ish if you enjoy the greener type of scent if you enjoy nature type of smell just grab it don't care about what it says or anything just grab it this is my best number one number one green type of scent okay when I feel I want to have the uplifting greener type of scent it's not too herbaceous okay it's not too herbal you're not gonna get that I I'm deciding I'm deciding whether to read the notes or not because uh, you know it might confuse people and they might think too much about it but no I'm, I'm not gonna read anything look at the label it's green this is uh, handmade they, they um, you know glue this label on they tape this by themselves I know a lot of people you know they use uh, you know hand glue label as well but for this one is a uh, you know all done by hand and um, the ingredients is very high quality for sure it lasts it lasts pretty long Okay, and it, this smells so good I'm not gonna even tell you what is uh, closest similarity to I'm just saying if you can afford 90 some dollars for 50 mil it's gonna last you a long time it's very powerful you like green just grab it this is one of those 10 for 10 10 out of 10 one of those that I really want to use 
I only maybe use one or two sprays once in a while because I want to preserve the juice. That's how much I love it. This is one of those. Forget it well, anything, just go grab it, okay? You will not regret it. Like, I'll put my stamp on it, okay? Right then, I hope that's helpful. <laughs> anyway, just go grab it. All right then, as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.